1983 Chrysler three and a half horsepower single cylinder picked this up last summer and the carburetor was missing some parts pieces and parts it's a Walboro carburetor and Walboro Corporation is in Cass City Michigan which is about an hour and ten minutes from Augre Michigan my hometown where I'm at right now I'm on this shores of Saginaw Bay and Point Au Gray. Well it's too rough today so we're playing around in the test tank and getting things going. I've had this for almost a year. I bought it with another motor. I don't remember what I gave for it because it was mixed in. Well actually there's three motors I picked up that day from a from a guy. But uh never could quite find what I needed to make it run because the bowl was missing and uh, the bottom just pretty much the bottom half of the carburetor but I bought another one in, uh, from a guy in Toledo six eight months ago and I just got it yesterday it's right here I took the flywheel off and cleaned the points checked the gap everything was great it had a good spark after playing around with it but I put it in the test tank and I had the spark plug out and I was yanking on it and there was water shooting out. Here's the tank for that one. It was actually a Sea King uh, rebadge. A little gasser by Chrysler. But there was water coming out of the cylinder head and I thought, wow, water in a cylinder. So I kept pulling thinking it was going to stop coming out. And then I was going to put some stable fogging oil in it. But it didn't. It didn't stop. And the water was cold. So that's when it hit me. This thing isn't, wasn't, the water wasn't in the cylinder when I got it. It was sucking it out of the test tank. So I got to take that apart and figure out why the impeller is forcing water into the combustion chamber. But this baby starts right up. First, you just whip her all the way around. Go backwards. But anyways, I uh, can't wait to get this out on the lake. I'm gonna throw it on a 12 foot shallow or kind of a, it's a V hull, but it's pretty shallow. Starcraft, it's a pretty lightweight boat. And uh, from the sounds of it in the test tank, and looking at the water it's thrown around, I think it's going to move it out pretty good. This is an aircraft I'm working on. We got to do the top yet and the other side. These were pretty shot, and the only thing I could find were some some stickers. But yeah, it'll look good from my house, right? But the red design is staying and the original color this is supposed to be white it looks gold to me but and then i gotta make some brackets for the uh to hold the windshield down that's the original windshield steering works all that firestone just threw it on there so it wasn't laying on the ground but i got the other side all sanded i just gotta tape it up but we've been getting a lot of rain Got to tape it off and paint that white and then get the top done. If you're going to be doing a lot of boat stuff around your yard, you need a trailer dolly. Got that mile down the road from a guy for 20 bucks. 
All right. Thanks for watching.